Good morning, friends. It's good to see you and have you join us today. Let's begin our circle with calendar. Can you remind us of our month? April. April. Now, yesterday was Sunday. What day comes after Sunday? Monday. Let's find it. Monday. And what sound do you hear at the beginning of Monday? Mm. Monday. Yes. Yesterday was the 26th or 26th. What number comes after 26th? 27. And what numbers make 27? 2, 7. Let's make 27. We have our 2, oh, but we need our 7. 7. 2, Seven, make 27. And for our date, we'll say the 27th. Now, can you remind us of our year? 2020. Thank you, friends. All right, let's put that all together and say today's date. Today is Monday, April 27th, 2020. Thank you for your help, friends. Now, let's go check our weather. All right, friends, let's take this time to step outside or look out your window and tell us what you see for the weather today. Is it still sunny? Maybe there's a few clouds? Maybe getting a little warmer? Let us know. Thank you, friends, for letting us know the weather today. All right, we've done our calendar. We've checked our weather. Let's move on to our topic for today. Today, we're gonna to be talking about volcanoes. In some of the countries we've mentioned, such as Fiji, we've talked about how the islands were formed by volcanoes. Today, we're gonna to learn a little bit behind how that happened, as well as some other characteristics of volcanoes around the world. Let's go. Our book today is called Volcanoes, authored by Stephanie Turnbull. exploding earth. There are thousands of volcanoes around the world. Some spray red hot melted rock called lava. Others blast out clouds of ash. This is Mount Etna on Sicily shooting out lava. A volcano form. The Earth has an outer shell called the crust. Underneath this is a thick layer of hot rock called the mantle. The middle of the Earth is called the core. It is made of extremely hot metal. There are rocks in the crust. Hot rock melts and pushes up into the cracks. The melted rock builds up and bursts out as lava. This is called an eruption. The lava hardens into rock. Layers of lava build up after many eruptions. Fiery fountains. Some lava is running, so gas inside it bubbles out easily. This creates gentle eruptions. Runny lava is like thin honey or hot wax. It gushes down the sides of the volcano. The lava spreads a long way before it cools and hardens. A volcano with gently sloping sides slowly builds up. Big blasts. Some volcanoes have thick lava that is full of gas bubbles. The gas makes lava burst out in a violent eruption. 
clouds of ash, and big lumps of lava blast into the air. Some blocks of lava are as big as trucks. Red hot rivers. Lava that flows from an erupting volcano is much, much hotter than boiling water. This glowing lava river sets fire to all the trees, plants, and buildings it reaches. Thick lava breaks into rough chunks as it cools down. Runny lava sets into smooth, swirly shapes instead. Violent eruptions throw out thick clouds of ash, rocks, and gas. These clouds sweep down the volcano's slopes. Sometimes snow and ice on top of high volcanoes melt and mix with the hot ash. The muddy mixture gushes down the volcano like a river of hot, wet concrete. Undersea eruptions. Many volcanoes form under the sea. They erupt gently and lava cools quickly in the water. An underwater volcano grows taller as it keeps erupting. When it reaches the water's surface, clouds of steam rise. Soon, the top of the volcano sticks up out of the sea. The lava keeps building up and forms an island. Hawaii was formed by underwater volcanoes. Hot water. The melted rock underneath a volcano heats up the ground around it. The hot ground also heats up any rain that soaks into it. Heated water bubbles out and forms a hot spring. These snow monkeys are keeping warm in a steaming hot spring. The spring is high in the mountains of Japan and is heated by the Shiga Kogan volcano. Black smokers. Hot springs called black smokers can form around underwater volcanoes. Black smokers are jets of dark, cloudy water. Tiny grains in the water build up to form tall chimneys. Tube worms and shrimps feed on the cloudy water around black smokers. Crabs and long fish called eel pouts also live there, eating smaller animals. Sometimes a deep sea octopus visits black smokers to search for food. Great geysers. Sometimes water heated by a volcano shoots out of the ground with a cloud of steam. This is called a geyser. Rainwater gets trapped in lots of tiny cracks in the ground. Hot volcanic rock heats the water until it fizzes and boils. The boiling water bursts out into the air with a whoosh. It soaks back into the cracks and starts to heat up again. Dead or alive? Volcanoes that are erupting or could erupt in the future are alive. Ones that will never erupt again are dead or extinct. A volcano can become extinct if hard lava plugs its main tube or vent. Over many years, the volcano's sides wear away, leaving the lava plug. Some volcanoes don't erupt for thousands of years, but they are not dead, only sleeping. Volcano experts. Volcanologists are people who study volcanoes and predict when they will erupt. This volcanologist is using a machine that senses changes in ground level. A bulge on a volcano slope could mean melted rock is pushing up inside. A volcano may give off lots of gas before it erupts, so experts take gas samples. The ground may also shake before an eruption. A machine records the shaking. Photographs taken by satellites in space show any changes in the volcano's shape.
Today's book taught us how volcanoes are made, some of their characteristics, as well as things you might see around volcanoes, such as geysers, and the people who study them, volcanologists. Thank you, friends, for joining us today and learning a little bit about volcanoes. Thank you for your help with calendar and checking our weather, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye!